I'm so, so excited because I finally have all of the data for tracking my capsule wardrobe for the entire year. I printed everything to make it a little bit easier because I did use an Excel spreadsheet. And with this video, I'm actually gonna go through each and every piece that I have in my capsule wardrobe and tell you how much I wore it. I'm not just gonna tell you the highlights because I think this is so, so interesting and fascinating. So I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be, but hopefully you will love it. <laughs> I'm gonna start with my tops, which is an entire list. And I had 45 pieces when I started, but I did declutter some pieces throughout this process, which I'm also gonna cover. And I'm gonna go from my least worn items to my most worn items. So the first thing is a pink silk cami that I wore zero times. That is because it doesn't fit properly across the chest. And this piece is currently sitting in my Time Hotel box to see how I feel about it and if I will miss it in the summer. Then I have a black peplum top that I wore once and this is something that I already decluttered because I just wasn't in love with it. Then I have a white mock neck jumper that I wore once. Again, this is something that I decluttered. It was really old and stretched and I just didn't love it anymore. Then I have a beige silk button up that I wore once. This I just recently decluttered and that is because the color doesn't really suit my face. I feel with beiges we just have to be a little bit more careful and this one didn't really suit my face. But then I have have a black silk cami that I wore once, then I have the orange off shoulder top that I wore once, I have a white cold shoulder t-shirt that I wore once, a white silk cami that I wore once. This one I decluttered but not because I don't love it but because I want to upgrade it because it was really old. So it's not currently in my wardrobe but I'm gonna add it soon enough because I do love my camis. Then I have a pink wool jumper that I wore two times, an orange turtleneck I wore two times, then I have a black off-shoulder t-shirt that I wore two times, and this one again I recently decluttered. I gave it to my sister and she loves it, so that's great, but I just personally didn't find it flattering, that's why it was going. Then I have a white t-shirt that I wore two times, this one, it's also in my Time Hotel box right now because I'm thinking of possibly cropping it. Then I have a white off-shoulder top that I wore two times, a white t-shirt that I wore two times. This one I cropped not too long ago and I think I'm gonna wear it so much more the next summer now that it's cropped. But for this year, I wore it two times. Then I have the new purchase white bodysuit that I already worn three times, which is amazing. I have my black short sleeve turtleneck that I wore three times. I have a white lace top that I wore three times. My white off shoulder jumper that I wore three times. I have a white puff sleeve jumper that I wore three times. A black silk button up I wore three times. Coral button up three times. Black halter top I wore three times. Orange jumper I wore four times. Polka dot button up I wore four times. Another new purchase of a black bodysuit that I wore four times pink sleeveless blouse I wore four times and then I have the check turtleneck that I wore five times I have a pink fuchsia jumper that I wore five times black sheer button up I wore five times plum turtleneck I wore five times black tee with special sleeves I wore five times beige turtleneck I wore five times light gray turtleneck that I'm also wearing today I wore it five times then I have a black off shoulder jumper that I wore six times a beige crop t-shirt I wore six times, black t-shirt with puff sleeves I wore seven times, white fitted cami eight times, pink jumper with silver buttons eight times, black crop halter top I wore eight times, white long t-shirt nine times, white button up 11 times, black crew neck jumper I wore 11 times, a black fitted cami 12 times, a black classic turtleneck 14 times, and lastly I have a black long t-shirt that I wore 15 times. So these are my tops done. I did declutter five of them, so now I currently have 40. So my first lesson is that I have too many tops, just in general, the number, because so many of my pieces I wore only once or twice, and that's not really what I'm going for. I wanna have a capsule wardrobe where my least worn item I wore at least three times, if that makes sense. But I'm not gonna force myself to declutter anything specific here, especially because I'm gonna do a six month capsule wardrobe for spring and summer and fall and winter, and maybe I'm gonna wear some of these pieces a little bit differently then, and then I can do even deeper declutter if I need to, but this is what I learned so far. Then for summer specifically, I noticed something that I didn't before, and that is that I love crop tops in the summer. I just kind of realizing that now, especially that I cropped my t-shirt and I love it so much more now. 
I feel that this is gonna be another lesson I'm gonna take with me so I'm just not gonna buy long shirts that I have to tuck in because I think they're a little bit too hot for summer and then another important thing here is that I'm also realizing that I prefer to have I would say hassle-free tops if that makes sense so usually tops where I have to wear a special bra with them or if I have some pieces that are a little bit see-through and I have to wear a cami underneath or if I have some summer tops where I have to wear a strapless bra or I have to readjust them I'm just gonna wear them a little bit less or a lot less in some cases so for me that is useful that when I'm buying new pieces for my wardrobe that I make sure to ask myself are these pieces hassle-free will I have to fuss about them and constantly fix them or wear them in a very specific way or are there a piece I can just throw on and go out of the door and now I created a new category I didn't have before because I thought this is gonna be a lot easier this way. And I created a category of blazers, jackets, and cardigans. So kind of indoor stuff that you can technically still wear outside, but it's not proper coats. So I had 11 items when I started tracking my wardrobe. And here I go. The first thing is the coral blazer that I wore one time. This one is currently in my Tom Hotel box because I'm just not sure about the color. Then I have a black blazer with gold buttons that I wore four times. A black blazer with silver buttons I wore five times. I have a faux leather jacket that I wore five times a white short cardigan I wore six times this one I recently decluttered because it just wasn't really warm or practical it wasn't really scratching the itch uh, then I have the white blazer that I wore six times a fitted denim jacket that I wore 12 times black short cardigan I wore 12 times white denim jacket I wore 21 times this one I recently cropped and I love it even more now so I wore it so much more lately then I have the oversized denim jacket that it's a new purchase of this year that I wore 31 times which is amazing and lastly I have a black long cardigan that I wore 34 times and because I decluttered one item currently I have 10 of these items still in my wardrobe and the lessons here the first one that it's really obvious that I already knew but I have to mention again is just I don't like colorful jackets, cardigans, outerwear, if that makes sense. I prefer something neutral because even though I think the coral blazer is absolutely gorgeous, I just don't reach for it. But it's still currently in my Tom Hotel box to see if I miss it or if I do decide to take it out, I can give it kind of a fresh set of eyes to see how much I love it and all of that. And then the second lesson that is really important for me here is that blazers or uncomfortable jackets, something that is just a little bit more structured, I'm gonna wear as an outer wear. So if I have blazers, I'm gonna wear them in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, when it's just a little bit warmer outside, but I'm not gonna wear them inside, indoor. I don't have a job where I would need a blazer to wear a blazer inside. So this is important to know. And then my denim jackets and cardigans, I actually don't mind wearing inside. So for the future, that's good to know. But now let's go through the bottoms. I had 16 bottoms when I started tracking and I'm not sure I don't think I decluttered everything so I still have the same amount and my least worn item are white trousers that I wore zero times I recently talked about is the only reason I didn't reach for them is because I don't want to get them dirty because I just feel they're so precious but I'm gonna get over that fear. So the second item on my list are my black high-waisted trousers that I wore two times. These are my special occasion pants, so I'm very happy that I wore them two times. Then I have the white shorts that I wore four times, denim skirt I wore five times, black mini skirt seven times, white straight jeans I wore eight times, faux leather mini skirt eight times, black casual pants I wore 11 times, denim shorts 12 times, Faux leather pants I wore 15 times, black shorts 17 times, dark wash high-waisted jeans 18 times, black crop joggers I wore 23 times, black high-waisted jeans 35 times, and the medium wash high-waisted jeans I wore 41 times. So I'm really happy with the bottoms and how much I wore them except for the white trousers. <laughs> but what I can see here is that I personally feel that I just have too many black items and that I could easily add something that it's a little bit lighter like a nude or a beige color something that I can use to create you know lighter monochrome outfits but it's also not like a white color that can get dirty so so quickly so something in the middle I think I can add something like that so that's gonna be useful for my wish list when I'm creating it for 2024 and then also I want to mention the denim skirt this is something I wasn't sure about and 
I can just see that the denim skirt that I own is just really not my style. So I'm thinking that I can potentially upgrade it with a white denim skirt, something in a different color, because I feel with jeans and denim, if you go for black or white denim, it's just so much more elevated, a little bit more polished, a little bit more stylish. I am gonna keep it for now because I still feel that there is a little bit of a gap in my capsule wardrobe and I wanna have it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have black skirts, which <laughs> that's a no-no, but I do think that I want to upgrade it sooner or later for something in a lighter color. And now for my dresses, I had 19 when I started tracking. And the first one that I have is a cream body contrast that I wore zero time. This one is currently in my Tom Will Tell box because it doesn't really fit me properly. I just have to have a good think about it because it was not the cheapest and I think that's kind of you know, holding me back to make a decision. But for now, I'm still giving it time. Then I have a white strapless maxi dress that I wore zero times. And this one I already cluttered. This was again a dress that wasn't that cheap and that's why I was kind of holding on to it, but I recently decluttered it and I'm so happy that I did. And then I have a beige off-shoulder dress that I wore one time. This one was in my Time Hotel box, but I recently added it to my winter capsule wardrobe to see how I feel about it. I'm kind of realizing as I'm going through this that I added so many beige colors to my Time Hotel box. I added two dresses, I think, and also a button-up. So I think this is also something that I have to pay attention for. As I'm looking at this, I'm like, hmm, Beige color can be a little bit tricky, so in the future, this is the lesson that I'm gonna take with me, is I'm gonna pay attention that the undertones and the shade, everything is correct for me because I have some beige items that I love, but then I have others that I feel wash me out. So I'm not sure if the color bothers me with this dress or just how it fits, but currently I'm gonna give it less chance for this winter and then I'm gonna make the decision. And then I have a navy flare dress that I wore one time. I have a white wool dress that I wore two times. This one was also in my Tom Hotel box, but I recently wore it quite a lot and I'm actually really loving it. <laughs> so it's gonna be staying, even though I think I can find a better version in the future. Then I have a maxi floral dress that I wore two times. I have a pink cami dress I wore two times. Black cashmere dress I wore three times. Pink dress with logos I wore three times. A black long sleeve dress I wore three times. Floral off-shoulder dress I wore three times. I have a floral bodycon dress that I wore four times. I have a black bodycon dress with long sleeves that I wore five times. I have a red stunning dress that I wore five times. Floral cold shoulder dress I wore five times. Coral cold shoulder dress I wore five times. I have a floral black dress that I wore six times a black maxi dress that I wore seven times and a black sleeveless dress that I wore nine times. With dresses, what I see is that the amount that I have, right now I have 18 because I did the clutter one. I thought this is a good number for me. I could even go up to 20 and that would be kind of a good number for me, but I don't really need to add more. I don't have any gaps. So that's the first thing that I see. But then more importantly, what I'm realizing is that a lot of my dresses are really unique and they really speak for themselves and I can only really wear them in one specific way. Even if I try to style them up, because they are so unique and so memorable, it almost feels like I'm wearing the same outfit. So I think in the future, if I'm gonna add dresses to my wardrobe, I wanna find something that it's a little bit more versatile, something that I can dress up or down, like my black sleeveless dress that I wore the most. This one is perfect because I can wear it with heels and a really nice bag, but then I can also wear it with sneakers and a denim jacket. I can dress it up, I can dress it down, I can just style it in so many different ways. So. That's what I think for dresses. The lesson here is to find something that is just a little bit more versatile. And now we can go through the jackets, coats, or outerwear, however you wanna call it. But before I share all of the data, give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Thank you. <laughs> so I started with seven pieces, but again, I decluttered some throughout the years. My first least worn item is my black long puffer coat that I wore only three times. And this is a new purchase that I bought just at the end of the winter. That's why I couldn't wear it a lot, but I do love it. And I know that I'm gonna wear it so much more this year. I already wore it so much. Uh, but then I have the white puffer coat 
coat that I wore four times. This one I decluttered because even though I loved how it looked, it was really too tight around the arms and the chest. I just wasn't feeling comfortable even though I loved it. Then I have the trench coat that I wore 16 times, a white wool coat I wore 22 times, a black buffer coat I wore 25 times. This is actually the old version of the new coat that I bought that I already decluttered because the new one is very similar, it's just a little bit longer. But then I have a faux fur coat that I wore 38 times and my black wool coat I wore 57 times. And with my coats, I'm so excited what I have. This is really my dream collection. I feel I have five pieces now, I love all of them, they're all really worn and loved and I'm just over the moon with my coat collection. I could easily say this is my dream coat collection. The only thing that I could potentially see adding here is some kind of a white puffer coat or maybe a tan puffer coat. Something that is wintry and just a little bit in a lighter shade because I do love my monochrome outfits. The one that I decluttered, I love it so much, but it just wasn't comfortable. So if I find something comfortable in the future for the right price, Maybe I'm gonna add it, but this is not something that I really, really need because like I said, I feel that my coat collection is amazing. And now for the shoes, I started with 17 pairs at the beginning and my least worn shoes are nude pumps that I wore zero times, but these are my special occasion heels and sometimes I don't wear them the entire year and that's okay with me because they're really for a special occasion. But then I have black pumps that I wore only once and this I decluttered because even though they're a special occasion heel, they were uncomfortable. So even for special occasion, I wouldn't wear them, but I do want to get some kind of an upgrade for this version in the future. Then I have nude open wedges that I wore two times. I have nude wedges that I wore three times. I had suede ankle booties that I wore three times. This, again, I already decluttered and actually I forgot that I even own them. <laughs> when I was going through the list, I was like, oh yes, I, I forgot about this. So obviously I don't miss them at all. Then I have black ankle booties that I wore five times and this I just recently decluttered because the heel was too high and I just didn't love wearing them. And then I have snow boots that I wore five times. I have the black wedges that I wore six times, black over the knee boots I wore seven times, nude summer sandals I wore eight times, faux leather ankle booties I wore nine times. This is a new purchase that I bought instead of the pair that I decluttered because of the heel that was too high and I wore them nine times and I'm just so aesthetic that I got them because they're so much more comfortable. I love them. Uh, then I have taupe over the knee boots that I also wore nine times. I have silver sandals I wore 20 times, nude flat sandals I wore 23 times, Ugg boots 39 times, leather over the knee boots I wore 45 times, and lastly I have my white sneakers that I wore 91 times. How amazing is that? <laughs> So I started with 17, I decluttered three, and currently I have 14 pairs of shoes. And this is only for my main capsule wardrobe for my dressy items. I still have some sneakers for sporty stuff that I didn't count. And also I think Ugg boots would be really, really high in the number if I would count them every time I wear them with my sports stuff. But I didn't because we're doing, you know, the main capsule. So with shoes, I'm actually happy with the amount that I have right now. But what I'm noticing is that wedges or espadrilles, they're just unutilized. I just don't really reach for them. I don't really wear them. And that's why I started asking myself, why do you even keep them? Why don't I just declutter them if I don't wear them a lot? And then I got my answer because I don't have anything else for the transitional season. I used to have ballet flats, but those were really uncomfortable and I decluttered all of them. So I don't really have anything for the transitional season. I feel like if I declutter them, then I only have summer sandals and boots <laughs> and nothing in the middle, maybe a pair of sneakers and that's it. So this is a really important lesson for me to maybe find another transitional shoe that would work for my feet, that I would love wearing them, that I could easily style because I also feel that Espadrille are really a summery shoe. So they have a really specific vibe and you cannot just style them. They're not really that neutral in my opinion. I was thinking maybe I could look into sling bags with a block heel or I'm not sure. I'm gonna see, but for 2024, I think I'm gonna experiment with some new styles of shoes that I haven't tried before to have something for that transition. And now for the bags, I started with nine bags. 
but I decluttered one. <laughs> and my least worn item is a tote bag that I wore three times. This one I just recently decluttered and I'm so happy that it's gone. Uh, then I have a pink bag that I wore three times. This one I bought in an outlet store and I said that before that I would never buy it full price and this is showing with the amount that I'm wearing it. I still love it though. I'm still gonna keep it because it still brings me joy, but I just don't wear it a lot because it wasn't really a practical purchase. Then I have a backpack that I wore seven times. I have a red bag that I wore 11 times. I have a nude bag that I wore 19 times. Coral crossbody bag I wore 23 times. A choke bag that it's a newer purchase. I wore it 47 times, which is amazing. Then I have a black leather bag that I wore 61 times and a black crossbody bag that I wore 99 times. Now, when it comes to number of the bags, currently I have eight, before I had nine. I feel I can easily buy the replacement for the tote bag that I decluttered because I don't have a larger bag in my collection anymore. And I think that's very, very useful, but I just have to find the one that makes sense for my lifestyle. <laughs> so that's the first thing here. Then the second lesson that I can just so obviously see and that is that bags without noticeable hardware are gonna be loved and worn the most because my top three bags, none of them have noticeable hardware and I think that's why I wear them so, so much. Also, what was really surprising for me is how much I wore the choke bag. I didn't expect this to happen. I thought I'm gonna wear it mostly with my monochrome outfits, but now I'm wearing it with everything especially with my scarves because the scarves usually have the black and white detail in them so the bag it just it pulls everything nicely together it also works amazing with my white sneakers so i've been wearing it so much i'm really happy that i love it so much but that means that i wore other bags a little bit less for example the red bag that i have i wore it only 11 times which was a little bit surprising for me because i wore it so much before I got the choke bag, but that's just what happens sometimes. You buy something you love so much more and then something else is not worn as much. But at the end of the day, I still love my collection, even if I wear some bags less than others. And now we have the category of accessories. I started with 17 and my least worn item was a waist belt that I wore zero times and that I decluttered and I'm so happy that it's gone. I also forgot that I own this one. <laughs> then I have a white shawl that I wore zero times and this one I also decluttered and I'm so, so happy that it's gone. Then I have a black straw hat that I wore zero times. This one is a summer straw hat and in the summer I had a realization that the reason I don't reach for it is because it doesn't have the elastic in the inner rim so it keeps falling down but I fixed it. So for the next year I'm sure I'm gonna wear it so much more. Then I have snowproof gloves that I wore two times. I have my leather gloves that I wore four times. White belt with a silver buckle four times. This one was a newer purchase. Then I have a wool hat that I wore five times. A stone scarf with flowers I wore five times. Earmuffs I wore five times. Plum check scarf I wore six times. A white belt with a gold buckle I wore seven times. Then I have a tan and red silk scarf that I wore 11 times. But this one again, I just recently decluttered. Even though I wore it 11 times, the reason I wore it so much is because I didn't have many other options because I put other scarves in storage. That's how I used to do it with my accessories. But recently I kept all of my scarves out at the same time. And that's when I realized I don't really reach for my lighter silk scarf. So this one is also gone. Then I have tan belt that I wore 14 times. Cashmere gloves I wore 14 times. I have my pink cashmere scarf that I wore six times. Tan cashmere scarf I wore 18 times. A white scarf I wore 18 times. A summer straw hat I wore 25 times. A black belt with a gold buckle 49 times. And a black belt with a silver buckle 56. So I decluttered three items throughout the year and currently I have 17 accessories. I'm really happy with this number actually. I feel I have enough of everything, enough of gloves, enough of hats, earmuffs, scarves, belts. I just feel accessories are just amazing again some of them i wear so so much more some of them so so much less but it doesn't really matter because they all have a purpose in my collection and some of these items like snowproof gloves or cashmere gloves or earmuffs i wore even more than what is listed in here because i wore them when i went for a walk when i was running errands in my sporty stuff so these accessories are just really crucial for me and i'm really really happy with the number now in case you didn't see my other capsule wardrobe tracking videos 
I will create a little playlist so you can see all of them in one place. I personally find it so fascinating when people share how much they wear items and you know for me this is really fun so I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.